hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel in today's video i share my recipe on how i prepared catfish pepper soup for the very first time in my life first i went to the market to buy the catfish which is popularly called point and kill i pointed out the one i wanted and the sellers went ahead to kill and clean the fish they also removed the guts and other unwanted parts when i got home i washed it further with lemon juice I divided the lemon into two portions and then squeezed the juice into the water containing the fish. One thing I do not like about catfish is the slimy nature and I'm sure it's contributed greatly to the reason why I haven't prepared catfish pepper soup until now. And that is the reason I washed this catfish with salt, lemon juice and hot water to get rid of all the slimy particles. After squeezing the juice into the water, I washed it for the I washed this fish for about five times or more if I'm not mistaken. And then I also went ahead to scrub the fish with the lemon itself. If you're new here, you're highly welcome. You're at the right place. Please feel at home. My name is Oge. I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based in Abuja, Nigeria. I create different content on food recipes, hairstyling, and vlogs. I know you will love it here. Please consider subscribing and also turn on the post notifications so you don't miss out on any of the amazing videos I upload. And to my returning subscribers, you guys are the best. Thank you all for always coming back to watch my videos. Thank you for the shares, the likes, and the comments. I'm so grateful. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is my very first time of making catfish pepper soup. I've had this video on my phone for some time now. I didn't make it recently, but I haven't been able to post it because I was having doubts. But I'll be very happy if you tell me what you think about this pepper soup recipe in the comment section. After scrubbing the fish with the lemon itself, I poured out the water and then poured very hot water over the fish. I poured enough to cover the fish. This is the final step of the cleaning process and to get rid of any remaining sliminess. I allowed it to sit for about 3 minutes and then I drained out the water and rinsed further with cold water. And these are the ingredients I'll be using to make this pepper soup. I have onion, different peppers, otazi leaf. Otazi leaf is a bitter leaf which is the perfect leaf for this pepper soup. I have uziza, seasoning cubes and ahurum. And because I don't want the peppers to be very smooth, I use the manual blender to blend it roughly. If you want to enjoy catfish pepper soup, then you have to prepare the pepper soup with a lot of pepper. When I say a lot of pepper, I mean a lot of pepper, but use as much as you can tolerate. Personally, I prefer barbecue fish or grilled fish to catfish pepper soup. But if I really have to eat it, then it must contain pepper. And I also get tired of eating it fast. I don't know if anyone out there is like me. This is what the pepper is looking like after blending. So next, I roasted the ehuru, which is calabash nutmeg in English. I roasted this for about 5 minutes. Then I took out the shell and blended it into a smooth powder. Next, I added the catfish into my pot. And I just added some chopped onion. In goes the blended peppers. I also added the blended spices at this point. I'm using natural spices, which is ehuru and uziza seed. I added seasoning cubes and I also added salt to taste. I added pretty much every ingredient that I used for this recipe, except the leaf. And then I poured hot water over the fish. I poured enough hot water. The amount of water you add into your catfish should be determined by the size of the catfish and also the quantity of spices you're using because you don't want the pepper soup to be tasteless. After cooking for 15 minutes, this is what it's looking like. I added the uziza leaf which is the last ingredient to go into my pot and as you can see this meal is one super easy and quick meal to prepare. I gave this a quick stir and allowed it to simmer for about 2 minutes. And here you have it, this pot of delicious pepper soup is ready to be served and enjoyed. I serve this pepper soup with agidi. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you all for stopping by and I hope to see you all in my next one. Bye!